Blues will be out to right the wrongs against the Tigers, having lost the past five encounters. The most recent defeat came in this year's season opener, but the ledger is still in Carlton's favour overall, with 125 wins to Richmond's 90. For the second week in a row, Carlton will take on a side it has already played this season. The Blues squared the ledger against the Suns last week, recording massive differentials in disposals, contested possessions and clearances compared to round four. They're all signs that point to a change of fortune against Richmond. The Blues have so far delivered on their promise of improved consistency in the back half of the season. They've led at every change in their past two matches, while the Tigers last week surrendered a five goal lead for the third time this season. Richmond's small forwards will be firmly on Carlton's radar, having done the damage in round one. Daniel Rioli, Dan Butler and Jason Castagna combined for six goals as the Tigers recorded 13 individual goal kickers. Fellow Smalls Robbie Gray and Jack Billings also got the better of the Blues defence this season, booting five goals each for their respective teams. Carlton will look to expose Richmond's biggest weakness, disposal efficiency. The Tigers are ranked last in this area with an efficiency of 70%, while Carlton's is slightly higher at 73. The Blues love to set themselves up by foot, ranking first in the league for total kicks, but last for handballs. Those are the cold hard facts brought to you by OnTime.